Sigma Sigma. What does it mean? Sigma 24 270. I look in my wallet. It is so empty. Sigma has deals for you and for me. Hi, I'm Zach Mayfield. And hi, I'm Jaden Mayfield. And welcome back to another installment of Today, we're in the vast plains doing a little research for the upcoming camera camp. And in order to be enlisted in this free camera camp coming up soon, all you have to do is be subscribed to this YouTube video channel. So Jaden, what do you say we take a little ride and talk about the Sony E-mount version of the Sigma 24-70 2.8 lens? Let's take a ride in this hot truck. the reason we come to camp. See things like that, the white-tailed doveback. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to camp. It's a very chill day. We got most of our chores done. Yep. Um, in preparation for camp. Mowed the lawn. Yeah, weed eated. Prepped the big barrels that we'll make the chili in. I had to fix the boiler, but that's finished now. Yeah. So today we're talking about the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 for Sony E-mount. Specifically, I'm using it with my Sony a7S III. This camera and lens filming us right now. Filming us. Recently I had a, a client shoot. Zach tagged along with me and used the Sigma 12-24-43. 24-70. And I shot it with my Canon 90D using the Sigma 18 to 35. What's cool is Jaden's Canon 90D camera is an APS-C sensor, it's a crop sensor. So the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8 is a beautiful match for that camera. Mm -hmm. Basically the 24 to 70 F2.8 is kind of the full frame version of the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8. And that lens, the 18 to 35 is like my favorite of all time. Oh, it's so creamy. But now that I'm a full frame Sony simp, the 24-70 f2.8 is like, it's a great option. So I'm just renting it for a week to test it out. We're here, you know, chilling at camp, getting everything ready for, for this fall when camp happens. So this isn't really gonna be like a deep dive review. There's plenty of reviews out there on YouTube that are very informative and like techy and specky and hecky, man, you know? A little bit more of the hecky version. There's a lot more heckies out there. So it's a great video lens because you get the wide 24 millimeters all the way up to 70 so you can get really tight portrait looking shots. Mm -hmm. And the lens is very similar to the Sigma 18 to 35 in that it is extremely freaking sharp. Like even the photos that I shot of your engagement that I tagged along with, they look super sharp. And this camera, the A7S III, is only a 12 megapixel camera. But when you throw a really freaking sharp lens on it, like the 24 to 70, it just looks nice. We also randomly shot a music video yesterday for my cousin, I found out he makes music, and I was like, do you wanna shoot an impromptu music video? And so we pulled the A7S III out, the 24 to 70, and we just like found a few locations and shot some footage. And it looks absolutely so beautiful. And we waited till sunset, and the footage looks amazing. And I just don't see a reason why you need a G Master. Like the Sigma lens is so sharp, it's fast. I mean, the only thing it doesn't have really that some people might want is internal lens stabilization, but the A7S III's active IBIS stabilization is wonderful, so I'm not concerned about stabilization in my lenses, which means if I'm getting lenses like the Sigmas, it's just way more affordable and I'm totally fine with the image quality. I think it looks just as good. My goal when I'm finding camera gear is not to have like the nicest of the nice. I'm looking for bargains. That's the Mayfield way. We try to find good deals that still perform well. Mm -hmm. It's it's all about bargains and efficiency. And I feel like the Sigma 24 to 70 kind of falls in line with that because it's so much cheaper than the Ooh. Sony G Master 24 to 70. But everything I experienced shooting with this lens, even in video, the autofocus was great. The only time it missed and hunted a little bit was when the sun was peeking out behind the subject for the music video. But that might happen with any lens because there's just a ton of light and it was hard for the camera to read where the subject was. So thank you for watching this installment of Camp Kinotika. We had a great couple weeks here. Yeah. Had some fun. Do you feel rested? 
I do feel rested. Yeah. We got a lot of work done though, but still had time to kick it. So make sure to be subscribed because then you're just automatically entered into camera camp. It's free of charge. All you do is slap that little red button and you're in. You coming? I'm coming. I'm gonna need your help. I'll be there. All right. Thanks for helping me this couple weeks. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. See you later.